I'm Abby, for those of you that don't know. Um, I went to Greece for 10 days a couple weeks ago, and Dad asked me to share, and I asked if this was optional, and he said no. So that's why I'm here. Um, or there are some really cool things going on in the world um, that was so encouraging, especially as somebody who's been part of the church for so long, um, just to go to a different place and um, see how the Lord is working um, literally thousands of miles away. Um, so 3.3% of the population of Greece is um, evangelical Christian. Um, the rest is Orthodox Greek. Um, so they have a really, really tough audience there because their identity is they're, they're Greek by nationality, but they're also like Greek Orthodox, and there's no breaking that. They're like so stuck in their tradition and their history. Um, so the church there has their work cut out for them to um, show them what the gospel actually is. Um, part of it was so cool to like be able to walk where Paul walked. So if you could put that first picture up. This is um, Mars Hill. Not what I was expecting. It's a pretty small hill. Um, in Acts 17, um, when he talks about like being in Athens um, and the um, idols and stuff that were all set up there. And there's that one altar there for the unknown God. Um, and so you can go to the next picture. Um, this is looking out. So this is like if Paul were standing on Mars Hill, this is what he's seeing looking out. That's the Acropolis, the Parthenon. Um, and just literally you can see all of Athens. And I just picture Paul being up there kind of looking around. First of all, Paul was in Athens because he was waiting for Timothy to catch up with him. And when he could have been like, Lord, I need a nap, he um, walked around and um, told people about Jesus. And so he um, was available for the opportunity that the Lord had for him there. Um, and the church still stands because of what Paul started there in Athens. And I think that's just um, so cool to witness. Um, but I think also part of the thing that the Lord was working on my heart when I was there was like, are you available, Abby? Like Paul was like, all right, Lord, I'm here. I'm killing time. I'm waiting for Timothy. Um, what can I do? And the Lord was like, go here and talk to these people, these really smart philosopher people about the unknown God that can be known. Um, so that's part of our job too. Um, I think I was just greatly encouraged when people ask, what's your favorite part? I said church on Sunday uh, because I walked in and it felt like home. <laughs> I literally couldn't stop crying because I was like, first of all, I missed you guys. And second of all, I was like, there are people that love the Lord and they were singing and they were um, praising the name of the Lord. And then they sang songs that I knew and there were people, there were other Americans there. So the mesh of like Greek voices singing with American voices, um, like was, I was like, this is heaven. Like it literally, you're, you're hearing different languages and it's heaven to hear together. It wasn't just all Greek. It wasn't just all English. There's a lot of Arabic people there too. So it was that. Um, and it was just beautiful to see come together. Um, let's see what else. I think one of the coolest takeaways of what the work of the church is doing is they're not like stuck together. They said that they're like, our tendency can be because we're 0.3% of the population, we're going to stick together and we're just going to band together. And they're like, but that's not our job. And they're going out and they're reaching the forsaken and they're re reaching the, the sexually abused and they're reaching the homeless and they're doing very, very practical things, but also like seeking interest. So like they have soccer, they have soccer fields everywhere. And like the church hosts like clubs and stuff like that. And they have um, kids ministry places everywhere. And they have churches that are planting churches that are planting churches. And I'm like, how is 0.3% of the population um, spreading this fast? And it's because there are people there that are working so hard for, um, for the gospel. So I think my biggest takeaway was um, we're not alone. And that was um, just encouraging. I think when we stay here for so long, we're like, this is it. This is all there is, right? And going across the world to be like, no, there are people that love Jesus. And they're preaching the word of God. Like, they were like, open up your Bibles. And I'm like, this is amazing. Like, we, we don't get that here. Um, so the church felt like home. And, um, yeah, we're not alone. The work is being done. And I think God brought me to Colossians 1, 28 through 29. Um, and I was encouraged because, one, this is what the church there is doing, but two, this is what so many of you guys are doing, and so I was just like, I love my people, um, I love my God, because he is working across the world, so this is Colossians 1, 28 through 29, him we proclaim, so Jesus we proclaim, warning everyone and teaching everyone with all wisdom that we may present everyone mature in Christ, for this I toil, struggling with all his energy that he powerfully works within me, um, so I'm gonna pray for the ch church and for us, and then yeah, Brian can back back up, Lord God, I thank you for, um, the opportunity I had to go to Greece and to see the church that was working there, um, Lord, I lift them up to you. I know that they are, um, they're tired, they are worn out, um, they're discouraged sometimes, but Lord, they're also so full of joy um, and they are working so hard. So God, I pray that you would just um, 
Give them blessing upon blessing upon blessing, Lord, for the work that they're doing in your name and in your truth. Lord, I pray for our church. I pray that we would be able to reach out to people, um, to be um, on mission for um, the sake of the gospel, and that all of the energy that you have given us, um, that we would not waste it, that we would um, be very intentional like Paul was. Lord, where can you use us um, and help us to be able to step into those moments? Um, And um, for the glory of your name, we love you in Jesus' name. Amen.